Yeah. Okay. So you got Cakewalk next. What now? All right, cool. Well, most of us realize that we can actually open up our online library and like work on projects. That's cool. But also what we've realized is that it's literally got the same presets uh, that we can, we can also do that too. And you're like, wait, what? We can get our presets? Well, if, for those of you that figured out the hard way to get your presets saved, awesome. Oh yeah, we can save them too. Well, how do we do that? Well, I got you guys. So check it. Um, First you want to do is you, you want to make a new project on BandLab first. Um, have empty tracks uh, labeled. Uh, I have about seven here. Um, I know we go up to 16 until that new rollout of, uh, I think we're going to 32 is what they said. Anyways, uh, make these tracks, name them, put every individual preset that you're trying to load in, save. Mine is called Joker Tray Presets. And do that first. Open up your next. Um, we're going to do a new project but we're gonna go online library and we're gonna hit this little toggle right here. It says import gear, make sure include track regions and include track effects is selected. That's it. Uh, open up your preset um, save that you've made online. It's pretty cool. Boom. Every single one that I have there is right there. Minus this retarded reverb bus. I don't understand why we have that anyway. So I got all of these all right here, ready to go. And they have, uh, let me remove this thing up here to the top. That's so annoying. They all have every single preset saved precisely the way that I have them in BandLab. And there you go. That's how you do that. Uh, preset builds and effects chains, if you will, are called templates in this um, program. Uh, I don't understand. Uh, why we're going to call that template but either way it's it is what it is so these are called track templates uh how we save them every individual one that you want to keep um you want to go to right click on it hit export track template look at that it's already got the information filled out for us i've got this one saved already uh, i also have tags i love this tagging system i really really am a fan of that so that's that's a win um once you name your shit uh, make a tag for it if you will. I got it. There's a favorites button. Make sure that you have these all highlighted. Like if I'm going to save this, I already have it saved, so I'm not going to. Um, I had made sure that these are my preferred tags that I have highlighted. Because uh, in the future, if I make another drum kit, I'm obviously going to hit preset and drum. And then I'd hit replace. Now you're going to do that with every single one of these that you want to save. Um, and that will save the templates. Now what we're going to do in the, f say like uh, whenever we're ready, because I already got these all load it up. How do I load these in? Well, you just got to insert track template and I have them all saved up underneath presets and boom, they're right there. And what that will do is that'll actually drop an empty track with your preset to do with whatever you need to do. Uh, and that's what, that's, that's how you do it. And it, and it will save them. So at any time you start a new, uh, track, that's that. And that's it guys. But thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Speak truth, dream alive.